But look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. Look how nice and thick and chunky she is. I love her. <laughs> and I'm excited to page through because it's like a month and a half since I left. And this is the longest a travel journal has ever taken for me. But I did have fun. And it was wonderful to, to feel like I was still in Berlin for a bit. I kept this simple, didn't add anything to it. I didn't think that I would. You know, the map is super busy. The first thing that we did when we got to Berlin is I opened up the public transport app and I pressed, like I, my finger clicked on an absolute random place and we navigated ourselves there. Well, I navigated us there. It was the wrong place. It was the very first thing that we did. Um, photo booth picture, the watercolors, I did this while I was on the train. And that night we went out to eat and we went straight to sleep. So. Wednesday starting nice and early and Rach met some friends there and so I went to a coffee shop and first we had coffee together and then we separated and so I went to this Russian cafe called Dacha I can't obviously cannot speak Russian but it's that and so I, you know what I ended up not liking this page at all that's why it's got this it ended up being so busy like so freaking busy and so, you know, I just stuck this over and ignored half of it. And then it cleaned it up a little bit for me. I I tend to prefer pages that are not busy. Um, I really like these doodles. Like, I, this is the street name. I mean, I made a spelling error, whatever. And this glorious poster was all over Berlin. It says, what comes next will be marvelous. And it was actually like, it had a QR code and it, you could play a song anyway. So cool. So that was the first place we went to, is this holy coffee. I took one of their stickers um, and I drew, badly drew a teacup. And that was when I discovered that Rach dilutes her Americana with water. After that, I walked around. This is from a store. I just like the colors. There's actually, <laughs> there's another one here. And look at this background. Like it's the store had great things and this is a what do you call it fluorescent light that was on I went there big recommendation but that recommendation did not follow through I can't remember where this imagery is from maybe it'll come to me whatever but I love this lumo red with the purple the lilac not really a, usually a fan of that but it looks good this is from the journal already. I put in some photo booth pictures that I didn't quite like of, of myself. And so, you know, in a glassine bag, it looks pretty, it doesn't look too bad. I don't look too bad. Nice, like the most beautiful place. And I wrote out the menu name and I try to use the same typeface or like kind of like it. This was on the gates at this place so this image I mean it's not good <laughs> but this I loved and so I spent some time getting the pattern correct and I printed on transparency so that I could do that and my very anatomically correct picture of a, <laughs> of a bird <laughs> okay so this <clears throat> this went through so many phases where I loved it and then I disliked it and then I loved it and then now I'm kind of like meh. So I like black and white drawings. I'm also not very good at drawing, but I'm not bad. And I'm not bad at black and white, but I feel like I'm not good at watercolor. Like as soon as I add color, I'm never happy. And so initially I just did the trees and these. Um, <clears throat> and then... I kept going and I don't know why because I don't like it but it's fine it's okay it, it looks not bad <laughs> this image this was the last image that I drew actually and it had come after drawing all of these and you know like getting very finicky and I was sick and tired of this even though this was like the one that I was one of the ones that I was most excited to draw um and then I just started using the brush pen because brush pen helps keep me loose. 
And you know what? Like, I I like it now. It's one of my favorites. I think because it's got this color block and because of that watercolor to it. I love this little illustration. I did it while I was there. And it's just a tiny vase that I saw in one of the shops that reminded me of Rach. Free maps. I'm so down for free maps. This is a postcard from a stationery store. Another business card, some writing about it. And that's just what was already there. Okay, these, you know, I love, 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 love drawing things and then sticking them in. So I like that even though, you know, it's pretty average, like it's, it's average. <laughs> Double breakfasting where we went, we actually went, yeah, we went to this, no, we went to a place, okay, and then we saw this place, Alan's Breakfast Club, and we we're like, we want to go there, and so we went there, which is the right choice, and then I was like, well, you know what, this place actually looks really nice too, let's go to both, and so we went to two breakfast places. This place actually ended up being wonderful, we spent so much time there just journaling and chatting to the owner, chatting to the waiters, um, this is like an exceptionally nice experience. Just a beautiful place. Oh, and because we had our Corona tests, we were allowed to go inside there. So that was wonderful. This, you know, it had gesso over an old book page and I just did not want to fill it. And so I stacked this map on it. <sighs> this guy, I love so much more than the drawing. <laughs> But I, I did the drawing and I didn't quite like the text. And so I ended up rewriting the text here. And you can see I did every single letter cut out. And then I did, this one is every second, like two letters together. And I was like, stuff it. I'm going to do all of it. And I was like, okay, well, we need to get some kind of cohesiveness. So there, I think all my decisions and what I do depends on my energy levels and my laziness. This is medium cool. I don't like them together, but that's fine. This I added some paint and then I also remembered that I like splashies. So I started doing splashies. And this color, you know, when I went on, so this is this page. And so when this color went on, it did not look accurate. And now, I mean, that's pretty accurate. That makes me happy. Very, very bad. Exceptionally bad, in fact, at <laughs> drawing fingers. But, I, but it's fun. I just did it quickly so that I could continue with the rest of them. This I added an extra thing because, why? Just because I wanted to include this and I hadn't included it. And so I also did a bit of writing there because um, it looked quite busy if it didn't have that and it had this busy page. And this drawing, I was the most excited to draw. And I like it the least. I do not like it. I thought, you know, the... I thought it would go in quite nicely. Um, I also, it doesn't help that I, it smudged. So poor Rach over here looks, and like she, no, it's not very clean. I don't like it. I did do just the watercolor for the yellows because they are the main part of the, of the scene, but oh well. This page, I like, like this, this feels like me. I did ask on Instagram, there was another bit that I wanted to add to it, but I could not get it to work and it still felt very busy and so I left it. I did however add this terrifying thing that came from one of the exhibitions. Uh, it was a film where they stuck a plastic baby doll heads, like Cupid doll heads on chickens. Do not like, not like that. And so obviously I went to immortalize in my journal so I'll never forget. Not that I would have forgotten otherwise. Okay. Went to Cafe Dicks. Mm-hmm. I did. This is the photo. And I think it's the only photo. One of two only photos. Um, because I love it deeply. And it's Rach in the this exhibition. Uh, all about provenance. And she did research on provenance. And this is like so cool for me to just watch her sit there and just take it all in and enjoy it. A lot of writing. This is a sticker that I've just stuck on this poor villain bear. Oh, 
and talking about being offered that I actually wanted to add yellow to but now that I'm seeing it I think it's fun like I think there's enough yellow there I like this I like this illustration and oh man do I like writing on magazine paper I love this paper you know what did not quite like this and do not like obviously the watercolor paper I tend not to like anything with any kind of bumps um, with regards to paper okay this is the this is the thing okay so over here it looks very blended in but I quite like it with all these different layers here so this is this is the other photo that's in the book and this is a an architectural drawing of a building that was on exhibition on exhibit um, and oh man, I love it so much and I couldn't figure out where to put it because I wanted to add it you know to this section which is the like museum section it wasn't working anyway so I put it here because technically it's before Friday so I'm not worried about things being out of order or anything like that but I do not like things being on different days like, like pretty straightforward with that I love drawing this like I love planning this it's it hasn't come out yeah like it's okay like I'm happy with how it came out this is on a postcard and so it was very fun to do that um, I added this tree which I would have liked for it to look um, a bit more like the, the tree wait there that that's what I was going for I felt very cool when this happened um, but it didn't come across but it it's good like it's good uh, I I'm so sorry I screwed <laughs> I'm screwed this up sorry guys well no, not guys him I'm sorry to him for messing him up because I love him he's an icon okay I need to learn how to draw shadow maybe maybe this was a postcard that came at this cafe this is their business card I like that I just added the colors for the plants uh green and a little bit of purple and spa splashes <laughs> splashes these chairs I I don't have the inclination to figure out why I didn't draw them correctly I thought I was rocking it <laughs> but this was not but you know what like I'm not unhappy that I can't draw these chairs like I'm I feel glad that I still drew it like I'm all these like quirks to this journal is what makes me happy and and so it's fun this baby okay I took forever like forever drawing him because this was like the the best part of the trip for me um I really liked using this paper don't know I'm gonna get it again because <laughs> it was it came from here yeah, it came from the uh Muji, I think, or Midori journal. I might just have to keep buying the journals. Um, I deeply loved this. I wanted to go when I was in Geneva. I drew a building and I used collage, basically a color to just get like a you know fluid shape, and I loved that. So that was the idea here. And I just wanted to, you know I wanted to do it for the trees. I'm I'm kind of happy with it. Yeah, like I'm happy with this. Uh, similar to that these stickers came from there that's what they used to cover our phone cameras this was also an experience where a very kind man sprayed a whole bunch of hair perfume on me and I didn't end up buying it from him but I, I did buy it later and now I am <laughs> that awesome that has hair perfume it exists okay right I, I wrote down these notes in pencil about Bokine because we were not allowed to take any photos there was no way of me remembering it so I just wrote it down quickly in pencil and I ended up you know as I was going through this I ended up just liking it and so I went over it with pen erased the pencil and this comes from the oh let me show you this comes from this <laughs> this bad boy which is the catalog the exhibition catalog that they had and all the different oh, pieces that they had in it okay because I need to figure out I wanted to figure out what a, a piece was it's actually this like music 
that's what <laughs> that's the grand extent of what I wrote about it. But I want to find that song again and I just all I want to do is play it and I've been listening to really bad music in order to find it. Still haven't found it. It's okay. So uh, the catalog also blurred the background because there are no photos taken in Berghain. And so they just blurred the background and but they kept some of the art. And so I've got this one and I've got one behind this, but I cannot show it. <laughs> I can't, but this is beautiful, obviously. Oh. <laughs> right more photo booth strips I was bloody hot and sweaty there like joke hot and sweaty I ended up reading a lot about Berghain and its origins and this came from an article they called it the Berliner Luft which is like the breath of Berlin like the air the nervous endlessly quivering Berlin air I just uh, I like it right I went to get my eyebrows done just like that there nothing much to be said I have forgotten to do this, so I will do that now and then show you the page. <laughs> okay, so here we go. <laughs> this is this picture. This is just bits of graffiti and um, sa sausages. Let's say sausages, glittery sausages that I saw in shop windows. Just just a small page um, because I didn't quite know where else to put them. Really ugly takeaway stickers. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not a fan of this, but it's fine. That it shows, it shows the stuff. This was white, and I thought I was going to leave it, but I just ended up putting scrap on it. And I wrote about the train mishap, <laughs> where Rach was a gazelle and I was not. I was flapping, flapping in the wind. So yeah, I like these little things, like. Again, all these illustrations, they are not showing my artistic prowess or anything, but they capture it. And I didn't have photos of this, but this is a very realistic photo of Rachel at that stage. I wrote the story out. I shared this on Instagram, and so I actually just copied the Instagram caption because sometimes I'm more artic articulate there. But yeah, that is the journal. This is so much love and hot and Berlin in it, like, I love it. I really love it. <laughs>